What happens on the Mayan calendar doomsday date, December 21, 2012? An Astrology and King James Version English Bible Code Analysis This video is based on the Revelation13.net website, a site where Bible prophecy, astrology, the prophecies of Nostradamus, and the King James Version English Bible Code are discussed. In this video, we will analyze the December 2012 Mayan calendar end of the world date using the King James Version English Bible Code and astrology. These topics are discussed in more detail on the Revelation13.net site. The author of the Revelation13.net website is T. Chase. I am the narrator of this video. The Bible Code is a way of looking for hidden prophecies and passages in the Bible by using a software program to search for messages in the Old Testament Hebrew text. The spaces between the words are eliminated so that the Old Testament is a continuous block of Hebrew letters. Then by skipping letters at a programmed interval, the program searches for words there appear to be patterns to the passages where the words are found and what words are clustered together. The theory is that these words and phrases in the Bible Code can reveal the future. And it has been found that the Bible Code also works in English in the King James Bible. This video is on the Mayan calendar doomsday date, December 21, 2012. By using Code Finder Bible Code software, there was a search done for some words in the King James New Testament and Old Testament separately. It has been found that there is evidence of English Bible Code patterns that the software found by skipping varying intervals in the King James Old Testament or New Testament made into a block of solid text. According to the Mayan calendar, the transformation of the world into a new age will be completed by the end of December 2012, and the exact date is December 21, 2012. Will this be a major turning point for the world, or could it be world destruction, possibly by a comet or asteroid collision, or a man-created black hole swallowing the Earth? Such a black hole could be created in a new powerful particle accelerator in France, or a nearby supernova star could hit the Earth with powerful radiation. Also, 12-12-12, December 12, 2012, is six years, six months, six days after 6606, June 6, 2006. 666 being the number of the beast in the Bible's book of Revelation. 12 is the number of completion, as Christ had 12 disciples. So perhaps the cycle completes on 12 12-12, the Mayan calendar transformation time. Astrologically unusual, then, is that four planets are at or near 8 degrees on December 21, 2012, near Christmas, as shown in this astrology chart. Jupiter at 8 Gemini, air sign. Saturn at 8 Scorpio, water sign. Pluto at 8 Capricorn, earth sign. And Venus at 7 Sagittarius, fire sign. So earth, air, fire, water are the four elements. And note that 888 corresponds to Jesus in Greek. Greek is the original language of the Bible's New Testament, including the book of Revelation. In Greek, each letter is also a number, and the letter numbers in a word can be added to associate a number with a word. Jesus totals 888 in this way, which is interesting since the number of the Antichrist in Revelation is 666. These analyses all add up to a time of great change for the world in December 2012. Perhaps a fifth element is created. And note the Bible's Book of Revelation passage 21.1. 1. 
and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Does this mean that the earth will then pass into another universe, the new heaven and the new earth? Also possibly related to this book of Revelation passage 6614, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. This could be interpreted as a black hole swallowing the earth. Revelation 6.12-14, to 14, King James Version, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. The following two King James Version English Bible Code matrices are on this subject. Both of these are New Testament matrices, and they seem to have a return of Christ theme. This is interesting because of the astrology chart with three planets at 8 degrees or 888. This first matrix is at John 14.30 to Acts 16.2 and has an equidistant letter sequence ELS skip of 7708. The search words were calendar, Mayan and Comet to try to get a matrix related to the Mayan calendar date December 2012. Also in this matrix are the following phrases. The heaven axed 730 in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire. Acts 755 into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing. The next matrix is at Matthew 15.31 to Mark 5.36 and had for search words calendar, Mayan, and comet. Also in this matrix are the following phrases. Escape the damnation of hell. Then shall appear the sign of the sun, the Holy Ghost, and it came. In conclusion, there seems to be a return of Christ theme for December 21, 2012. It will be interesting to see what happens. In Revelation, after Christ returns, there is a thousand years of peace on earth. The return of Christ is described in Revelation 19. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. See the Revelation13.net website for more on prophecies and how they relate to current events.